Yo, 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 everybody! Generic B here. Oh, I'm hungry. Yum, 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 yum. And we are back on the Minecraft Feed the Beast server. And today is going to be some more work on the Alviary, but I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to come over here and check out Spawn and look at the stuff that the Gems has been doing. Um, he is... He started on bees and... And with my guidance and my my tutelage, <laughs> uh, with B Academy, he is a proud uh, B Academy graduate and uh, graduated with honors. I just want to show you what he's been doing. This is a power plant uh, that he's been building um, to generate Michael Jackson's for the whole server. Uh, and you know, everybody's got their own little power plant and and stuff like that. So it's not. Not really that we need this, but it's a really cool uh, project that he's done, and I wanted to showcase it a bit. So he has got four, four of these uh, iron tanks. Each one can hold 6.2 million units of fuel. Uh, and then, so each one of these are slowly filling up. And let's see how I get down. He's got a special way now of getting down. Uh, we're going to talk about those guys here in a minute. It may be a little laggy for you guys. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm a little laggy, uh, when I, when I get around spawn, uh, but that's okay. He, especially when there's all of this stuff going on, and this is, this is like, uh, um, client side lag, FPS lag, uh, cause he has 16 full-blown steam boilers that are producing steam and for each one of it's four sets of four and then each one of these are powering one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight yep yeah. uh so let's round that up to 10 to make it easy so that's 10 so that'd be 8 80 160 320 roughly uh, 300, let's say 300, 300 of these steam engines all running, and it is powered by, these guys are being powered by fuel, which is coming from those tanks, and then you gotta sit there and you gotta go, man, where is he getting all those, all this fuel? He must have himself a ton of, uh, you know, some kind of refineries and, and stuff like that, like, man, where has he found, like, the world's biggest, uh, oil vein in the whole wide world nope bees bees baby he is using a whole ton let's see he's got one two three four times four i believe yep he has 16 uh units 16 uh 16 alvearies and all of these are with distilled bees so those make the oily combs and i guess he's got it worked out uh, where it is one, one B per, hmm, that's interesting. I think he needs a little more than one B per, per boiler, but hey, if it's working, it's working. Uh, and then he's got them coming down into these, uh, centrifuges. Yep. So you see those are, uh, taking the combs and turning them into, there's oily comb coming in from the B that turns that into an oily propolis which then goes into the squeezer, which makes oil, which then goes into one of these, one, two, three, four, five, six maybe, um, refineries, which then is pumping, turning that into fuel. Oh, I can't see it. Pumps it into fuel, and then it's going on up. Crazy town. He's got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and then the thing I wanted to show you is he's got all these routers everywhere. You know, and I, I really don't want to touch them, to be honest. I don't want to screw anything up. Uh, but he's got this really neat setup where uh, at first it may look like he's just using barrels as decoration. And you can see there's nothing in them. It's actually, he's using them to connect different uh, different routers. So like this router setup over here, which we'll, we're going to talk about in a second, is connecting to... Those guys over there, those routers over there, but also 
these barrels are going down and they're actually connected to every single one of these alvearies. And you'll notice that you see how it's got an untreated uh, frame right there? I'm going to take one out and wait for it. Magic happens, perhaps. Bonk! And there it goes in, right? So he's got, looks like one per alviary. Okay, yep, sounds good. Pretty much probably all you need. Oh, and that's why, aha, I bet that's all it takes. I bet it takes one, one frame housing and then that turns it to where this bee can, uh, one, one alviary can provide enough fuel for one steam boiler. I bet that's what it is. Now over here, here's his frame production. Uh, he has, uh, a, he's got a tree farm up there somewhere and he has the flax and, and string farm, which I'll show you that. And then this thing is a fabricator, takes the sticks and uh, string and does that. Uh, this one is taking oak planks and making sticks. And then this one is taking all the all the uh, wood and making planks. So, and it's just all connected, so you don't really have to worry about a whole mess of uh, cables and, and pipes and stuff because these routers are taking care of business. So, I thought it was pretty cool. That was really cool. And then, of course, he's got all of these tesseracts, and these go to the public energy. Not to be confused with public enemy. 911 is a joke. Mm. Get up, now get, get down. 911's a joke in your town. Right? Now, uh, ooh, I better watch out. Uh, and then here's his uh, string farms. So he's just got his own little Ike and Zanzibar as soon as something grows full. This, uh, this dude right here, uh, Ike, will go around and he'll, he'll like break it and replant the seed and then uh, some string will be laying on the ground and then Zanzibar will go and he'll pick up the uh, pick up the string and put it into this uh, this dude right here this little tesseract oh maybe we'll see it in action yep so he's gonna go he's gonna break all that business Zanzibar picks up string and bloop and he's even gonna go pick up that seed he should or he'll just dance Whichever. Oh, there he goes. Let's dance. I can dance a ball, can dance. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. And the reason I came over here to show you guys that, uh, one, is really cool setup. And two, uh, it's very similar, in theory, to what we're going to do. Because today we are going to set up our own... Uh, whatchamacallit, uh, our own fabricate, frame, 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 that's what we're making today, the frame, 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 with a frame as well, and a frijoles, and a french fry, uh, now we're going to, um, let's see, oh, I gotta go over this way, I still gotta get rid of Andrew's little prank, we have a nice, drill now I think that'll just blow it out I've been lazy and I still got to do something with that stuff I know I can get rid of these I'll do that um again everybody appreciated my empty inventory and my and my uh, uh my organization last time so I've done it again oh, it's all in here this is pretty much everything we need uh, so I'm going to grab this. This thing is an automatic compressor, which is a Greg Tech thing. And some routers with that and that and that. And I'll grab some of those, grabbing these guys. That, that, yes, yes indeed. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The, uh, I'll wait on that part. I think, I think we're okay at this point. I think so. This will get us for right now. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go on down. And I am going to... 
I've actually done a little bit of work ahead of time uh, in connecting these these barrels. Now I could I could take these barrels and actually connect them kind of underground, sort of like what the gems did. Um, but I don't mind them so much being like this. It's kind of like makes little rafters, and I could even um, I could probably put some kind of covers over them, some really cool covers to make it look like there's like pipes connecting to the to them. So I'm not too concerned about it being like that. And then to connect these to the second level, all I really have to do is just have it right here. I don't have to do it on the other ones. Well, no. Oh, you know what I do have to have though, is I have to have ones connecting from this side over to that side. I didn't think about that. Uh, so what I can do, I didn't get the barrels, but I do have them in the chest. Ha ha! Just in case. This whole organization thing is not too bad. I gotta say, I'm learning. At least for projects, when you can just sit there and I make a little list and I say, what do I need? Bless you. My wife sneezed. Uh, so probably what I'll do here is do like a blunk, blunk, blunk. And then that will get them from this one over to that. And then if I had over here, I would have to do a blunk. Is this going to connect? It will connect. Pecker. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, I could put like a sandstone pipe right there. So I won't do that one yet. Tell you what, I'm gonna. Oh, no. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Interesting. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll do this one at another time because I have to get a sandstone pipe to put that so it won't connect with the barrel. Uh, but basically what I do is I just have these this going across and then that way I'll connect them all through But you can see as it stands right now these have become one big network of Pipes Oh, I could even do it over here. Actually. That's not a bad idea That actually might work pretty good if I did some kind of business where it's connecting over here Yeah, 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 yeah we get this. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. I'll do one one like this. I'll go two, three, and then that will connect. Right? And then coming across. Okay. We got it. We're sorted. Uh, now I do want to put in, let's grab these bees. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can remove these without, without worrying about the, you know, the bee. Oh, crap. Come on, dude. Uh, but I don't want to, oh, I got to wait for it to become a hive again. Become a hive. Become an alveary. But I'd rather safe than sorry. It took a while to get these, um, to get these guys going. Now, the, there is one other pretty cool thing that I'm going to do. I've decided since I'm not using, um, that weirdo flux energy power anymore um, I'm going to remove the um, remove the whatchamacallit trait I'm gonna remove the uh, oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm gonna remove the uh, purify aura trait from here so that way I don't even have to worry about you know about all the uh, all those little crystallized things. I don't have a need for them. The people that are, you know, play on the server, they don't really have a need for them. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the XP, uh, the Explorer effect on there instead. And then that way we get a bunch of, uh, we'll get a bunch of XP while we're walking around. So that's what that's going to be a, a little project for me. Uh, but let's see. So we got all this set up, and what we're going to do 
is then I'm going to tear this part out just so I can reach it. So you can see what I've done here is I've just got, here's the little bridge that will connect the upper level. I've just put one more barrel on top. And so then all I've got to do is put my two routers on top. And we will worry about getting those uh, uh, configured correctly. Uh, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, let's get this right. Two of these guys. No need one there. Gonna need all. That seems correct to me. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, actually, I'm gonna take a quick commercial break because I can't quite remember how I built this. <laughs> and I wanna take a visual refresher so I don't screw it up. So I will be back after a quick commercial break all right we back and i am glad i looked because i was short one fabricator as soon as i started building this i was like this doesn't look right what's going on here uh, but we are going to use where is this thing automatic compressor now the automatic compressor is very interesting it it performs the exact same thing as a regular compressor does, except it has sort of similar qualities to uh, to these type of machines and the fact that, you know how this has got this crazy configuration of like where stuff goes in and where stuff goes out. So it's kind of like that uh, in the sense that the stuff that you can set this up and be like, uh, this is like, you can have it transfer power to other machines so you don't have to run power to like cable lines to everything. And this one will actually kind of act like those other ones where it says when it's done, push it over into another thing. So that's kind of cool how that works. Um, and then we're going to take these chests. They can be any chest, but I'm just doing diamond uh, just because that seemed to be the right, right thing for me. Now, this is not going to work, is it? No. Does a screwdriver work? A screwdriver does not work. I've got to make, finally, I've got to make one of these. I could probably use one of these, um, but I'm gonna use I'm gonna make one of these prototype things. Oh no, it takes cyan wool. Hey, ain't nobody got time for that. Cyan wool, how I make you with cyan dye. Come here. Oh, lazarite dust. Oh, maybe I can make that. Dang it. Dang it, we were so close, people. I thought I had it. I thought I had the world in my hands. All right, let's go. Let's check this out. Just in case he has made one already. He is not. I'm going to bring an electric wrench. Just be on the safe side. So what did this thing take? It took two diamonds and gold. One gold, two diamonds made from bees. You burb. Uh, one indigo light blue. I know we've we've crushed up some of this stuff somewhere. Cause that should work, right? Isn't that? I don't know. Let's go down here. Hopefully, we have one piece of wool. The best laid plans of mice and men. Uh, if I was, it won't work on anything but white wool. Well, pecker, we got all these white wool covers, but no, no actual white wool. Well, as we say in the business, frickers. Or pecker, whichever one you prefer. Let's try using this wrench. Hopefully this wrench will work, and we don't have to worry about the Omni wrench. And if we do, then I will have to go make one. So I think if you do a shift click job, okay, good. Okay, good. We made it. So if you shift click, that puts the little hole like wherever you need it, and bonk. 
So that way, whatever's getting compressed will go into here. Now, the funky thing about it, if you use this guy, you'll sometimes notice like stuff will go in here and it doesn't get pushed over. That's because this thing's built in that it only will do it every, oh, I don't know, minute? And that is to prevent lag. Um, why? I don't know, but that's how they've done it. So then we want to take these two filters and we're going to go blop, blop like that. And we're going to take structure pipes. I got them. <laughs> I'm so good. I really should put a glowstone underneath that. Oh, do I have one glowstone somewhere? I mean, I, look at this. Bees working, mm, doing jobs. Do I have a glowstone? No, nah, I'll put one later. That's fine. That's just, uh, that's nothing but, whatchamacallit, aesthetics. And we're going to put one right here and one right like that. Wireless receivers will go in another place shortly. And I'm going to then grab some tubing. But before I do, I have to take these guys and let's go grab over here. Let's go grab a few stacks of wood pulp. Oh, that's not where I want to go. It's right on here. You know, regardless, every time you sit there and think that you, you've got this sorted out, there's always that one thing. That's why whenever I go to Home Depot, you guys tell me if you're the same way. You go to Home Depot for a project, I take like five trips. Because then I'll get home and I'll be like, oh, I need the 3 8 bolt with a carriage top thing. And then I go back and I get it. And then I'm like, oh, wait, I need a special wrench to do that. That's how it always works. Okay, on this one... The one that's pointing into the compressor, uh, we are going to put wood pulp. That's what that takes. And the one that's going into here is going to be, it's going to take silk wisps. Wisps, 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 right? So then these, this is going to fill up with silk wisps, 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 wisps. and this is going to fill up with wooden plates, uh, which are... Uh, which are made in the compressor from eight wood pulp makes a wooden plate. And then here, we're going to do one of these jabbies. Put a little guy right there and do the whole, if it is full, then redstone signal. So once we're full of, uh, of wood plates, that basically means, hey, I don't want any more wood pulp. So we're going to have that kick off and go over to an alveary. And then this one is the exact same thing. And it's basically going to say, when I'm full of silk wisps, then don't give me any more. Right? So that's how that's going to go. Then here, we're going to set this up. This makes three silk wisps make a string and for this guy tell you what let's let's go compress a couple really quick and this I know is right up here if I go down uh, one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five, eight, eight, eight. okay so that's gonna go a couple because we're going to need those for uh, for the recipe. Technically, I think we just need one, but we'll be all right. Go wait for it. Wait for it. Clunk. We don't have all the fancy overclockers that the other place does. Like the like the furnace that we have downstairs. Whew. Man. Bunk, 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 bunk. Just lazy. Just lazy. And then, wassa. Okay, so we got the wood plates. I'm gonna go back over. 
And here, we're gonna take and make one of those guys. And so two wood plates will make sticks. So this thing's going to take the wood pulp, compress it into plates and put them in here. And then we'll watch it right now. We'll put it in two, bloop, they're gone. You saw it. And now we've made four sticks, right? And then here, I'm gonna go ahead and take those cause I need them. Here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and put, let's put three in here. One, two, three, bloop. And you can see those made string. And so one in the middle, and then that makes the untreated frames, right? Then at this point, you got the uh, untreated frame sitting in here in, in the uh, fabricator, and then we're gonna set these guys up to go get running. So at this point, we're pretty much got it. Uh, I'm going to take, I'm kind of looking, looking around and I'm a looker. I'm going to take and just pull off of here, and I will have to, uh, organize these these pipes a little bit more, run them around on the ceiling and stuff once I get to where I've got everything how I like it. Uh, let's get rid of that guy. Come on now. Boop. And these already have so only silk wisps and only wood pulp. So all we have to do is that right there. So that is going to, let's go over here. I need that, that, and that. So now we know that in this guy, we need dusty combs. So now whenever we get from our timbered bee, which we haven't put in yet, the dusty combs will come up and it will get uh, transferred into this little centrifuge, which will turn it into wood pulp, which will then go into that guy. Uh, then this next one's a little interesting. We need the silky comb and we're gonna have that go. Now a silky comb, silky comb, uh, if I right click, yep. It has a chance of making the silky propolis. Now with that guy, if you right click on that guy, then you have to centrifuge that one more time and then that will give you just regular old propolis and a silk wisp, which is what we need. So what I'm gonna do is picture like, this guy will uh, process the silk, uh, the silky comb, the silky propolis will come out here and what I want it to do is go right back into there. So all I have to do is just put that guy right like that. So that should give it the old double bloop bloop. And as a matter of fact, I don't have any on me, but. So that should take care of the input part. Uh, then all we have to do really is we've got to set these guys up. Uh, I'm going to start with I'm going to start with these first. So the this top one needs an item filter. Blink. So you just do a shift right click, or maybe just a right click. Maybe, let's see. Uh, do I wanna inject it? I got an item filter. I'm thinking, how did I have this? No, and this one has the ejector. Yeah, you have to shift right click. Shift right click in. And then this one is the machine filter. Bloop. Okay. So now this guy, you can click on it. And here's the item filter. So we're going to say we only want untreated frames, but I would rather have a, a good, solid untreated frame in there. So one second, let's go over here. I know I've got a few, should be a few, sitting, or, oh, those are impregnated. Mm-hmm. Okay, no problem, no worries. Let's make us some really quick. Okay, I know I got some wood running around here. 
I try. Oh, there's there's sticks. Ha ha, perfect. So let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Only one string. Pecker. I didn't really think about that. Let's do this one more time. One, two, three. One, two, three. Put that like that. Ha. Okay. So now we'll go back up. And here I want to say only take out, and it's going to be an extract. Only extract those guys, those untreated frames, and eject to the bottom. So it'll eject it to this router right below it. And then that should work. I'm going to say that. I don't think it really matters. Oh, but I do need... No, this is... this is. I need it from... I remember now. From slot... From slot 10. Now, here's why. So, this is the only machine that's going to have uh, a... Uh, is only going to have the untreated frames. And slot 10 is... There's nine slots here. So, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10. So this is the 10th one. So if I put one here, nothing. If I put one here, it is gone. And it has injected it somewhere. Now it's gone. <laughs> uh oh, that's really crazy. And all it it has probably taken it somewhere. We're going to have to find it. Cuz now what I'm doing is the machine filter and then I wanted to put tile extra B alveary because that will put it into the uh, uh, put it into the frame housings. Let me just see where in the heck did you put it? <laughs> you never know with this stuff. Uh, okay, let's go fly down. That thing is gone somewhere. Gone, daddy, gone. Okay, let's turn around. Something tells me it is. In that one. Yep, there it is. Okay, got it. So now let's do a quick little double checker here. Uh huh, nothing. Nothing. We've only done four of these. And then the next ones are here. I probably should put them in the corner like uh, the gems did. Nothing and nothing. Okay? So then what we do. Oh, I gotta go this way. Hello. There we go. So then if I have, let's put one is gone. Another one is gone. And then just for grins, let's, or actually, yeah, yeah, we have to. Uh, I'm going to put that in there. You going to take that one? Yeah, I didn't think so because it's got damage on it. Okay. So let's go down. So we put those two in. There should be one here and one there. And it's actually being used. You can see it being used up. So the only thing I have left now, and we are going to fly back up, is let's set these guys. So if this is the silk... Let's let's try to remember. It's funny they don't. Oh. Okay, so gunpowder was forty three hundred, lava's forty three oh one. Uh, let's do a new one and call it uh, silk wisp, right? And we're gonna make that. Oh, dang it. Al Alviary Silk Wisp. Set the name. Does that work? We're now 4302. Okay. So that's 4302. This one is for wood. So we will say 
Oh, let's do uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, so 4302, mm -hmm. and we will say Alvieri, ooh, Alvieri Wood Pulp, set that name, so now that's 4303, and if we come on down, oh, no, can't go down that way. I only did this. Do I have the concrete? <laughs> look at me. I only did that so I could look in. Now it's all, look how small that is. That's tiny. Works great. Uh, then we're gonna come on down. Come on down. And so all of these are filled up. This one is my, my lava. So as you can see, it's sitting there ready, waiting to go. Um. This guy is empty, but I don't want to use that. Oh, yeah, yeah, Solemn Princess. Oh, yeah, so this one's empty. So what we can do is get rid of that, take one of our wireless things and the screwdriver. Oh, hey, hello. Plop it on there. Screwdriver like so. And this will be, how do we have this one? Oh, yeah, wait, wait. This one's, if it's off, then redstone. Yep. So this is going to be the wood one. So we will say, no, this one will be silk. So we say, set the name. Isn't that right? Silk, bonk, bonk. Uh-huh. Ah, that works. Okay, great. So if it's off, then it'll pulse. So all we have to do now is put the silk guy in there. And then, well, heck, this one's working. Why don't we just put it right there? And bloop. Screwdriver it. Right click. And this one will be woody. Woody wood pulp. And off energy pulser. And we are in it. Baby, this is all it takes. The final thing I'll have to do, which I haven't got quite yet because I want to make sure that I've got um, the bees like perfectly stored up, is, bloop, let's go through here, let's climb up. Um, I've, got, I've got this timbered princess, or this timbered uh, bee, that, and that's what makes the uh, dusty combs, which makes the wood, the wood pulp. Uh, but I need to, um, I need to like fix this bee up a little bit, make it like fastest worker and all that stuff. Uh, and then instead of using these tropicals, I'm actually going to use one. And for some reason I didn't keep the, uh, I didn't keep the, the bee itself. Um, so I've got to make them, but it is the exotic bee. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I probably got a whole mess. Oh no, those are all the. No, never mind. I thought maybe I had a bunch of exotics in there, but I don't. Um, these exotic ones are the ones that I want because, like, if you go to tropical, a tropical will produce one of these every 3.8 minutes. An exotic is every 1.5. So that's going to jam out some string, baby. And that's what we want. Uh, so to make a tropical, it's really easy. You just go, no, exotic, I'm sorry. To make an exotic is really easy. It's just a tropical and an austere. I got those all day long, so I'm not even worried about it. Uh, but that is it, boys and girls. We've got ourselves some pretty fancy pants of uh, frame technology, if I do say so myself. Uh, and it's even one of those things that, you know, it's like I could... Uh, if I need more, like if I find out I've, I'm constantly just waiting on string, I can just throw one more, uh, you know, uh, exotic bee or one more timbered bee or whatever and just let her run. But I don't think I'm going to need to. I think this is really going to handle me. And then I'll put some of these, um, some of these alvearies, I'll admit, like, I may not even want to have a uh a frame on because it they just already make so much stuff that i just don't want to even mess with it but 
you know, we'll see. We shall see. Okay, I think that is it for me today, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, and by the way, I think um, someone gave a really good suggestion on Twitter to use uh, those um, those lamps, lamp blocks around here to light up whenever this thing is, is churning. I think that's a really cool idea. Uh, so I'll probably do something like that. Um, and uh, and then I like the name, the, the B-Actor. I think that's pretty cool, like a reactor, but it's a B-Actor. Uh, so this is now officially called the B-Actor. I love it. It's perfect. Uh, but that's it for this episode. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and like the video. You know how it works. Helps me out a bunch. Uh, but that's it for today. Until next time. Take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.